Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add a logo or a watermark to your video using Filmora 10. Okay, so to uh, to add a logo to your video, it is very simple in Filmora 10. First up, take a look at this example. Nice, right? And uh, this is uh, my example timeline. So nothing fancy here. Let's play. Uh, let's play the timeline now. Okay, so it's uh, it is a little bit choppy because uh, I use a screen recording now. Uh, by the way, here we have a, a video of me sitting in front of the camera. I'm trying to create a reverse effect for my uh, uh, some some special effect for my vlog. And uh, here uh, we have another Hero Pack openers. Uh, so this is uh, one of the pack that I get uh, from Filmstock. It is free to download uh, when I finish a, a mission inside uh, inside Filmora 10. And down here we have a sound effect. And actually, I just use. <laughs> my microphone <laughs> to create this this funny uh, sound effect but we you don't have to do that and down here we have a background music and uh, at this point uh, i also have a shake effect uh, to make the screen shake a little bit uh, when the logo finish finish rotating okay so let's delete everything on the timeline and i will show you step by step so this one the first one uh, the first one and the second one okay uh, press ctrl a and delete uh, all right, so the first thing you need to have a logo here. So I have a channel logo uh, we designed from uh, we designed by one of my friends, uh, and we need a video here also. Let's try and drop the video down to the timeline, and press this button to view everything. And for example, at this position, I want to start uh, adding my logo. Okay, so just uh, drag and drop it uh, on the top track. Uh, being mentioned that if you uh, drag and drop this logo, maybe it, uh, sometime it, it, it is uh, inserted into uh, this video and you can just easily lock the track behind uh, under it uh, so it will not, will not uh, affect the, the video track uh, below it. Okay, so it is a tip. Alright, so here's my logo on the timeline. So the first action I want to do is to zoom out the logo. So just make it bigger. Alright, so we can double click on the logo and then go to the image and then i'm going to transform and then i'm going to scale it up to maybe as big as possible 400 percent and that's okay and the next thing i want to add the first keyframe to this logo okay so select the logo and then i'm going to press shift home uh, to put my playhead uh, at the beginning of the logo and now i'm going to click this button to add keyframe so this is the first keyframe and i'm going to move forward some frame forward maybe three frame or, or four frame or, or sub, sub like that and i'm going to scale uh, scale down the logo here because uh, it is 400 percent now i'm going to scale it down here uh, too small uh, i think this big is okay and now we have just uh, created the first uh, zoom in uh, effect for my logo and let's render the timeline first all right, and here's the first effect for my logo. Let's play it. I think it's nice, right? By the way, you can control the speed, the speed of the effect uh, with the animation keyframe here. Uh, we have two keyframe, uh, the first keyframe and the second keyframe. If you want to speed up the speed up the effect, you can just uh, drag this keyframe uh, to this to this side, so to the left. And if you want to slow it down, you can uh, just drag it uh, to the right. Okay, so now now I'm going to keep it like this. Okay, so and at this position, I want to uh, start moving my logo from uh, from the center to the to this corner. Uh, so I'm going to add another keyframe. Uh, just select the logo here and click here to add another keyframe. And also move some frame forward, about three frame or four frame or, or stuff like that. And we can adjust the speed later. And now we're going to uh, scale it down. 
and smaller then move it to here okay to the corner of the video and also click OK uh, so I'm going to render the timeline so you see you can see the second effect better okay just click render okay so, and here is the first and the, the second effect for my logo nice right and at this point i want my logo to spin so it will spinning around when the video play okay so i'm uh, going to add another keyframe for my logo just click here to add another keyframe and now we are we also need to move some frame forward and then i'm going to adjust the rotation here so let's say 360 and press enter so my logo will spin in one circle and let's extend the logo to the end of the video or stuff like this uh, maybe 20 seconds or stuff like that and we can can adjust the speed of the spin here just extend the dura uh, duration of the the keyframe on the timeline and we can make it spin slower okay so uh, let's render the timeline okay so here's the first solution to add logo to your video it is very easy right uh, let's review three effect here play Very nice, right? And uh, another information I want to, to show you is the, about the rotation. If you want to, uh, if you want your logo to rotate continuously, you can just uh, use this one. Uh, the number, the maximum number you can put here is nine nine thousand nine hundred and ninety nine. Okay, and uh, when you press OK, uh, your logo will spin it like this. Uh, let's play it here. It is nice, right? Okay, let's uh, jump into the second second way you can add logo to your uh, your video, like an intro that I showed you at the beginning of this video. Okay, so let's delete everything on the timeline first, and uh, we we need a title preset, so we go into uh, title, and uh, here at my film stock uh, film stock, uh, I'm going to select a hero pack here. Okay, and this is a pack that I used uh, in at the beginning of this video. Just drag and drop it uh, onto the timeline, and now we have a hero pack uh, here. Just an intro, okay? And this is the original one. Film stock present and heroes open us. Now I'm going to uh, to customize it uh, in the advanced uh, tech editor of Filmora 10. Uh, I'm going to right click and then go to advanced edit. Okay, so I don't need the text here, heroes and openers. Uh, I don't, uh, I don't think I, I will keep it. So I'm going to select it, and I press and hold my control key here to select multiple track uh, on this timeline. Everything, and I'm going to delete this one, and also uh, I'm going to to modify this text to my name. Okay, film stock present. I'm going to put it Jackie Win and i'm going to keep this text okay and uh, let's play it and uh, nice and at this pos uh, position uh, where is the uh, fireball explode uh, i want my logo to appear here so i'm going to add a logo to this uh, this window uh, in Fimora 10 you can uh, click here uh, add an image uh, to add your logo uh, in this editor okay so just select it and now I'm going to uh, select a logo on my my computer. Uh, this one, I'm going to open it. Uh, so this is a logo track. I need to shorten it. Uh, just click here and then drag it to the left to shorten it to where the fireball explode. And the next thing I want to do is to, uh, to just uh, scale down the logo so it, because it is too big. I'm going to make it like this just at the center of the the fireball here all right so it looks nice to me by the way you can adjust this uh, like the way you want okay let's play it Ooh. okay so, and the next thing the final thing i want to do with my logo is to add an animation for for it so just select it and then go to the animation here uh, the one that i use uh, in this video is fade fade zoom in 
By the way, there are many other other animation effect here you can choose. Uh, for example, the zoom in or zoom out or stuff like that. Uh, you can select any. It, uh, it's just your reference. Okay. Uh, I'm going to double click on the zoom in and we can see the logo slowly zoom in okay and here's a final result very nice and easy right so that is how you can add a logo a watermark to your video using Fimura 10 i hope you enjoyed the tutorial if you have any question let me know in the comment section below if you are new here consider to subscribe to my channel and also don't forget to hit the like button or leave your comment here because it is very important for me to grow my channel thank you very much for watching and i will see you in my next video bye bye